Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Gospel Minute from St. Michael's Orthodox Church in Geneva, New York. I'm Steve Toby. As I mentioned yesterday, we're going to spend a few days in the Beatitudes. Why? Because they're important. Today, we'll spend a little time on the background of the Beatitudes and then read and interpret the first Beatitude. When we read the Beatitudes in Scripture, we normally go to St. Matthew's Gospel, chapter 5, verses 1 through 12. But St. Luke in his Gospel also gives us an abbreviated list of four of the Beatitudes. Also, we find 45 Beatitudes in the Old Testament, mostly in the Psalms. A Beatitude normally starts with the phrase, Blessed is he, and then goes on to describe a fortunate situation that the person finds himself in. In the Beatitudes, the phrase, Blessed is he, describes a happy or fortunate situation. In Greek, the word makarios is used, meaning happy or fortunate. Jesus uses the Beatitudes to identify the attitudes and characteristics of a true disciple and commends those who take this path of discipleship as being truly happy. Let's look at the first Beatitude today, from Matthew 5, verse 3. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. That is, those who are poor in spirit are happy and fortunate. When Jesus uses the term poor in spirit, he is not only speaking of those who are economically poor, but more importantly, he is describing those who with humility recognize that they are powerless, who recognize that God is the only one who can help them, and who trust that God will act on their behalf. Those of us who place our total trust in God will be rewarded with eternal life. That is the message of the first beatitude. So believe, trust, and then you will have true faith. Tomorrow, we'll go on more with the beatitudes as Christ gave them to us. Have a good day, everybody, and I'll see you again tomorrow. And may God bless us all. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Oh, give thanks unto